Hi, I'm James, and I'm here to tell you about Mozilla Hubs. Uh, it's a 3D world where students, teachers, anybody really, can go and meet with each other and speak and also build out a world full of whatever they want, in this case, um, student exhibitions. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through how to get into this software, uh, how to access it from laptops, um, and what you can use it for. First, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm the founder of Steamhead. That is a nonprofit focused on design, technology, really finding out new things that are relevant to education and making them more accessible in the classroom. Um, also, Make Fashion EDU, um, we take technology and fashion and students create these wonderful outfits, these beautiful outfits that uh, advocates causes that they care about. Um, I'm also the technology integrator at ISNS in Shenzhen, China, and that is way over here, right next to Hong Kong. And right now, I'm not in Shenzhen. I am over in the US in the Mojave Desert, about two hours uh, away from Los Angeles in a place called Pioneer Town. There's our, uh, there's our post office. Um, it actually was first built as a Western prop town. There's these um, high-tech, beautiful houses that people build out way out in the desert. And then they actually, they do some stuff like we do here. We're working with design, art, um, electronics. And so um, it's a pretty great area to be in. And because I'm so far away from my students, I have been teaching a lot online. And so that's where Mozilla Hubs comes in. Um, a lot of this was built out during online uh, teaching during the pandemic. And it has been so great that we have continued it even after um, schools have opened up and students have gotten back to classrooms. So I'm actually gonna start us off in the uh, the portal room. So I go through this portal right here and it's gonna load uh, another Mozilla Hubs room that we've built out. And uh, it takes a moment to load all the graphics. There we go, join room. And I'm not gonna use my microphone, although sometimes you might have a bunch of people in here at once and then you don't need to be in Zoom or uh, Teams. You can talk with people inside this 3D world. Um, these are all different portals to different schools. There's a school from Alaska, there's Shenzhen American, uh, there's Hollinger, this is a school, Hollinger's a school in um, in Tucson, Arizona, along with Drockman Montessori. They built an exhibit, and uh, this is an Alzheimer's exhibit by an individual student. She built out that whole world herself. Here's some under construction stuff, and uh, here is the International School of Nanshan Room, where we have built these adorable hedgehogs. So from this meeting space, students can go explore. Oh, I'll show you free play in another video. Um, students can go explore all these spaces by going up to the right portal, clicking visit room, and then they will enter the scene. So this scene is one where um, students had um, students had needed to learn uh, Inkscape. And so we had an Inkscape tutorial uh, in Microsoft Teams, this is the Teams post, um, copied and stuck right into Hubs, and uh, students receive this link. So if you're in this Hubs, you can actually click on this link and visit the Hedgehog tutorial, and you can download um, Inkscape, which is a free vector editing software, and you can uh, build out what the students built out. And so these are some of the results. Uh, this was a, like a 45 minute session where they were learning how to use vector art, and uh, results were varied. Actually, I told everybody to be really creative just to make sure that they used all of the tools. And then we had a chance, like 10 minutes at the end of class, to come in here and put up all our art on the walls um, to talk about it. So uh, in Hubs, everybody is a little video game avatar. And when you're standing next to somebody else, when your avatar is standing next to another avatar, you can have voice chat. So you can chat with each other in the room. It's great because students can form uh, little groups to discuss what they're putting up. Uh, they can help each other. Um, not everybody is always staring at the teacher talking on uh, a video chat. And they can move about the space and kind of create their own uh, feel for everything. Actually, some of the students finished early. They wanted to stick up more stuff. So we had them put some of their journal entries um, from Canva up in this room. The way that you get to Mozilla Hubs is through a browser. Um, so I like Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, search it on any search engine and just click on the download link and install it. Um, other browsers besides Firefox can work, but Firefox has been uh, the, the most worry-free for like 30 students at a time, kind of joining in and getting their microphones and video cameras to work. Uh, so Firefox is the way to go. And when you load the level, um, it's free to make as many levels and worlds as you like. And there's a bunch of templates that you can use. I did not build out this whole museum. We just kind of found one that we liked and put a bunch of art on the wall. And, um, and when you get here, uh, the way that you move around is on your keyboard, using the WASD keys. W goes forward, S goes back, A and D go left and right. And then you use your mouse. You click and hold your mouse. Um, you can do this on a touchpad, just click and hold down, and then that will let you uh, look around the world. Oop, I've got a little piece of art right there. 
Um, so if you don't know how to navigate, ask any kid. They'll probably know how. It's just like it's just like playing video games. Um, super easy and smooth to get around. There's a bunch of tricks uh, that your students will probably figure out really fast. You can press the G button and you can fly around and you can move through walls and look over the whole world. It's kind of like, um, it's just kind of like a big area to create in. Um, you can uh, you can use drawing tools to draw on the wall. I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff in the next video uh, for free play with a little bit more detail, but it is a great accessible place to get into. Uh, a great thing about hubs is that you do not need a password to get in. So you go to this site, hubs.mozilla.com, and uh, here's the page, you click the sign in link in the upper right, and it's gonna ask you for an email. So you do need an email address, and you type in your email address. It will send you an email. When you click on that link, then you will be back in hubs signed on. And you don't have to sign on to move around the world and to put stuff up on the walls, uh, but you have to sign in to save your work. So if you haven't um, if you haven't signed in, then when you leave, all of the artwork that you put up on the wall will disappear. I like it because students can just get in uh, really fast, even if they haven't heard all of the instructions and they can start moving around. And then once they start putting their stuff up, um, they'll be concerned about saving it. The way that you save it is you put your mouse cursor over any art that you've um, that you've encountered in the space or that you've put in on yourself, and you click this word pin, P-I-N. And when you pin it, that'll make sure that other people can't move it except the creator of the room. So that's usually the teacher, so I can move around all this stuff. Uh, that'll make sure uh, nobody else can move it. And also, uh, when you leave, it will stay there. It'll just always be there. Um, there's a bunch of other tools here. You can, you can spin your art around. Um, you can resize things and make it big. I'll show you more of that stuff in free play. Uh, but initially, uh, getting stuff up in this room is super easy. You, um, to, to bring a piece of art into the room, you have it open on your desktop and you hold your mouse button down and you just drag and drop the, the JPEG or the PNG, any piece of art that you have, right into the space. Um, next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to import uh, pre-made 3D models. But if your students are making their own 3D models, same way, they just drag it off their desktop, uh, they drop it into hubs and after a few moments, it'll appear and they can move it around the space and display it how they like. Um, so that's about it for the intro. Make sure that you go to uh, hubs.mozilla.com and click the sign in button. And then it'll it'll ask you to create a world, create your own world, start moving around, explore all the options. And I'll see you guys in video number two, where I show you the free playroom and about some of the more creative things that you can do in hubs.